What's up Little Wing members? James Cumro, Little Wing Foods here. Back again, we're in the factory. It's another cook day. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the August meal box. Um, really excited by this one. This is, it has been a lot of fun putting it together, finding these products a little bit different to previous months. So um, let's get into it, talk about the products, how to put it together. Just a short little video today. But I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is adding a few alterations that you can perhaps customize your dinner um, based on suggestions. I'm gonna provide you the bare basic, how to put it all together. But now, we're into August. I wanna see some creativity from your end. I want you to harness all of the things we've been teaching you about cooking pasta, how to cook by taste, smell, sight, what's appealing, and we're gonna make something really fun. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. Now, this month's box, this is August. This has got to be one of my favorite pastas. Um, I give massive thanks to one of my early mentors in Italian cuisine, Rosa Mitchell. Uh, we work together at Journal Canteen, and this is one of my favorite dishes that she taught me how to cook. This comes from Sicily. So, really unique pasta that we're gonna be cooking today, and then the style of cooking it. Very basic, but big, bold flavors, like we've been talking about. So once you get your box, you're gonna open it up. The first thing that you're gonna see is a QR code, which is what you've scanned to see me here today. So scanning the QR code will always bring you to the back end of the website for members only. And then after that month has lapsed, the videos will be uploaded to the Little Wing Foods YouTube channel if you ever need to go back and find those. So this packaging here, I absolutely love. It's a hex wrap packaging. So this one is made from recycled paper. It is recyclable, it is compostable. This is fantastic. Uh, occasionally I use it to light the fire at home as well. So I'm gonna take that out. Now, inside the box, what we've got, jar 500 gram, little wing, arrabbiata, beautiful. So this one's really cool, onion, garlic, um, fresh green chilies. I take all the seeds out though, so it's really mild mild enough that you get the flavor of the chilies and a little bit of warmth, but it won't blow your head off. Anchovies, MSC certified. That's sustainable anchovies, caught by hand, filleted by hand, packed by hand. Wonderful. Orecchietti pasta. Now, these little guys are so cool. Orecchietti in Italian means little ears. Really nice. And then something a bit different this month, we've got pistachio nougat for sweets. Awesome. Again, the pistachio sits really well with our Sicilian theme. So we're gonna cut some of that up, try it later. Now, also you're gonna need a head of broccoli, a lemon, and just some plain breadcrumbs. So what we're gonna start doing is just breaking up the fleurettes off the broccoli. This guy's a little bit too big. I'll just cut him down. Just cut that in half, about that size. But there's gonna be a real trick to this one. We're gonna overcook this so it becomes really soft and actually breaks up through the sauce along with the anchovies. It's gonna be really awesome. Okay. So the orecchietti, now this pasta is a little bit different to the tubes and the longer pastas that we've used in the past and even the gnocchi. So this is a really firm pasta and it's gonna take a lot of cooking. So recommended cooking time is between 13 and 15 minutes. I've got water that's rapidly boiling already. Seasoned like the ocean, I've tested that water. Now, you should be able to see on the outside of the orecchietti's a really cool pattern that makes it look like little ears. So what that's, what's happened is when they've made that, they've rolled it with a thumb and then stretched the outside and created these beautiful uh, channels that's gonna catch all the sauce. But what's really important here is that we're gonna cook, we're gonna cook this enough 
It's gonna take a bit of cooking, 13 to 15 minutes. Now we're gonna to wanna to check that. Uh, we only want it slightly al dente. This is a much firmer semolina pasta, so it will get quite, uh, quite tough. So we need to make sure that we do cook this enough. So the pasta's in the water. Now, 13 to 15 minutes, but also I've got my broccoli that I've cut up here. Now, a bit of a trick here. Once this pasta gets to, um, say, eight minutes, I'm gonna set a timer for eight minutes, then I'm gonna add the broccoli into this water. So the broccoli will be slightly overcooked, but cooking at the same time as the pasta. So when I drain that off, we're gonna just retain, retain the pasta, retain the broccoli, ditch the water, and then we're gonna fold that through our sauce. Um, but this way it saves getting another pot on. Um, it's great for home cooks. And then you also get the beautiful starchiness off the pasta through the broccoli. It's great. Okay, so my eight minute time has gone off for the orecchietti. I'm gonna take my broccoli that's been cut up. They're roughly the same size, so they cook around the same time. Straight in the water. Let's go. Okay, we're back. So, because I've only got one induction hob here today, um, I, I can't have two pots cooking at once. You really wanna have this going two pots at once, so you can be boiling your pasta and your broccoli, but also making the sauce here in the next pot. Uh, so I'll just show you, I've strained this off. You can see that the broccoli is nice and broken through the pasta, and it's just gonna keep falling apart as we add it through the sauce as well. So that's really cool. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is to make the sauce. So, these are our wonderful anchovies, um, MSC certified, which is the blue tick here, which is really important to me. We're just gonna take these out of the box. Now, if I was cooking for more people, I would use the whole tin, but it's just me for lunch today. So, I'm just gonna put a few in. And yes, they've been packed by hand, if you can believe that, in these beautiful little tins. Um, so yeah, I've got about four anchovies there today, maybe about half the tin. So I'll leave those for another day. I'll pop them in the fridge, but just take them out of the tin. You never want to store any food opened in a tin in the fridge. You need to transfer this into a, a safe container or maybe a glass jar. So. We're gonna start quite a good whack of olive oil in there, Australian extra virgin olive oil. So if you receive the Putanesca meal box, you'd remember my tip. So we're just gonna melt the anchovies into the sauce. So we don't wanna fry it, we don't want it to be sizzling it. We just want it to be, you just wanna see the oil moving a little bit and then stirring those anchovies and breaking them up into the sauce. That's really important. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the heat, low heat, and we'll just keep breaking it down. I'll come back once the anchovies have broken down. We're gonna start adding the tomato sauce, and then we can introduce the orecchietti and broccolini. Okay. So the anchovies have broken down beautifully. Now, I've just used such a low heat, and the other reason is that you don't want to overcook the extra virgin olive oil. So if you take the extra virgin olive oil to a smoke point, you've ruined it. You may as well be using a vegetable oil that's got a higher, uh, a higher smoke point. So the reason that I use the extra virgin olive oil is because that's the way the traditional Italians do it, and it's also gonna form the sauce. So it's not just for cooking or frying, it's actually part of the sauce, which is super important. Okay, so I've added my arrabbiata. Now, I can see that the tomato puree and the anchovy olive oil sauce is just slightly split. And if I mix it quite 
uh, rapidly, it will come back together. But as I say that, it just starts to split around the edges, which is absolutely perfect. It's a split source combination of the beautiful infused Australian extra virgin olive oil with the anchovies and then the Arabiata little wing sauce. Now, I'm gonna start introducing the orichetti or little ears and the broccoli. Okay, now I'm just gonna start by gently folding that in. Oh, yes, look at that, okay. Now we're in business. Okay, so I've just gently folded it in. Now, you should be able to see how broken up that broccoli is. There's little bits of fleurette all the way through it. And you can see that this stalk here is actually just losing the tops of it, which is perfect and it's forming the sauce. Now, while I'm cooking this, I can smell the onion, smell the garlic, a um, little bit of chili there as well, the, the fresh green chili and the anchovies make it really savory. So it's not fishy at all. It's just a beautiful savory character. Now with that all the way stirred through, I'm just gonna continue heating that for a little bit, just on low, just so it's ticking over. Now, we were talking about variations to this sauce. So really, this is a base. This is up to you guys to get creative about what you wanna to add to it to make it even more delicious or something that you would like. So this is classic. For me, this is absolutely perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it with some breadcrumbs on top and some fresh lemon zest. So a really cool story about the breadcrumbs is that traditionally a seafood pasta does not get parmesan. In the restaurant, I would never serve a seafood pasta with parmesan. Instead, we serve breadcrumbs or in Italy known as pangrattato. So this has just been um, some bread trims and crusts and stuff that I've dried out and then blended up. And I keep in a glass jar in the cupboard ready for things like this or maybe we're making cotoletta for dinner uh, to do some crumbing, but this is pangrattato. This is gonna finish it uh, in place of parmesan. Okay, so lunch is ready. This has just been ticking over a little bit, making sure that broccoli is just breaking up beautifully. Um, the pasta is cooked really well. So I stuck to the times off the packet and it was absolutely perfect. Now I'm gonna start serving this up. Just a nice pile in the middle of the bowl. Now, this is my pangrattato. It's gonna add a really nice little crunch as well. Lemon. So, the flavors of the chili and the tomato and the lemon are really traditional to Sicily, where the Moors came across from Northern Africa and introduced citrus into the cooking and the spices as well. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. Ah, before I forget, I'm gonna crack open my pistachio taroni, which is the nougat. Get a load of that. Beautiful cross section. Looks like some almonds, hazelnuts, pistachios. Now when they make this, this is, this is really complicated to make. This is probably the best nougat that I've had. And you'll see it's actually made with some rice paper around it because it's very sticky when, when they produce it. Now I'm just gonna cut some fingers of this. So this is traditionally served with a little espresso after lunch which I think I might partake. So I'll try this pasta. Orecchietti with anchovies, broccoli, pangrattato and lemon. Mm. I might just hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper, but otherwise that's beautiful. Now, 
The anchovies have added such a nice savoury character. There's no fishy flavour at all. It's just elevated the entire dish. And with that lemon, just beautiful. We'll try some pistachio nougat. Mmm. And this is a soft nougat. It's not the stuff that's going to break your teeth. So, thanks again everyone. And a special shout out to our members. I appreciate you all. You're the absolute backbone of the business. Now please post, keep posting on social media. Love seeing your creations and look forward to cooking to you next cooking for you next month.